A militant siege at a hotel in Mogadishu has ended, police have said. But a recent flare-up in violence has left Somalia's hospitals overwhelmed. Security forces stormed the Villa Rose Hotel on Monday, bringing to an end the latest attack by militants from Al-Shabaab. The assault underscores the continuing ability of the Al-Qaeda-linked group to stage major attacks even as President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud's government presses an offensive against them. At the end of October, Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility for two car bomb blasts outside Somalia's education ministry. At least 120 people died, the Horn of Africa country's deadliest incident in five years. Weeks later, and hospitals are still grappling with the influx of patients. Dr. Abdi Qadir Haji Malim is a surgeon at Medina Hospital in the heart of Mogadishu. We received so many wounded people from the explosion in Zobe. Most of them had severe injuries. Some had multiple injuries. But we did our best to try and manage them. Medina is one of four major hospitals in Somalia supported by the International Committee of the Red Cross. The hospitals have reported that the number of mass casualty incidents related to armed conflict has increased by 30% compared with 2021. But Somalia is not just suffering from a surge in violence. The Bay Regional Hospital in Baidoa has reported a more than 170% rise compared with last year in the number of malnourished children being admitted for treatment. Amid the region's worst drought in four decades, hunger is increasing. The UN has warned that part of the country is teetering on the brink of famine and that more than half a million children, many displaced by drought and conflict, are at risk of dying.